The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has once again pushed the boundaries of our understanding of the universe. This time, it has turned its gaze toward one of the most tantalizing targets in our stellar neighborhood, Proxima Centauri b, or Proxima b. Located just over 4.2 light years from Earth, Proxima b orbits the red dwarf star Proxima Centauri, the closest star to our solar system. What makes this planet particularly intriguing is its position within the habitable zone of its host star, a region where temperatures could potentially allow for the presence of liquid water. Now, with the unprecedented precision of the JWST, astronomers have detected data that may suggest more than just habitability. It might be pointing to conditions that indicate the presence of life or, at the very least, an environment capable of supporting it. Unlike Earth, Proxima b is most likely tidally locked. This means that one side of the planet permanently faces its star, enduring constant daylight, while the other side is cloaked in perpetual darkness. Scientists have long theorized that in such a configuration, the most habitable region would lie in the narrow strip between the day and night sides, called the Terminator Zone. This twilight belt could maintain a relatively stable climate, not too hot and not too cold, where water might exist in liquid form. Now, JWST's sensitive instruments have provided new atmospheric readings of Proxima b that reinforce this theory. By capturing the infrared spectrum of the planet's thin atmosphere during its transit and using advanced filtering techniques, scientists identified temperature gradients and energy redistribution patterns consistent with heat being transferred from the star-facing side to the darker hemisphere. This suggests an atmosphere capable of circulation, one of the fundamental traits of Earth-like climates. Even more compelling was the detection of certain trace gases that are rarely found in lifeless atmospheres. Among them was methane, in amounts that cannot easily be explained through non-biological processes alone. Methane can be generated through geological activity, such as volcanism or hydrothermal vents, but those scenarios usually also produce certain types of carbon monoxide or other byproducts, which were notably absent. This discrepancy led researchers to consider the possibility that the methane might be biologically produced, just as it is by many microorganisms on Earth. Adding to the intrigue was the identification of a spectral absorption feature resembling chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, compounds that, on Earth, are purely synthetic and have no known natural origin. The idea that a non-natural compound might exist in the atmosphere of a planet outside our solar system immediately raised questions about intelligent life. However, researchers are urging caution. The data is preliminary, and while it strongly resembles CFCs, further confirmation is needed. It is also possible that an unknown geological or chemical process could produce a similar spectral signature. Still, the implication is profound. If it is indeed a CFC-like compound, it could be evidence of technological activity. Another noteworthy detail in JWST's findings was the reflectivity of Proxima b's surface or atmosphere. The albedo, or measure of how much light the planet reflects, suggested variability across different regions. This could imply cloud cover, oceans, or even vegetation. While JWST cannot directly image the planet's surface, the way the light curves change over time hints at dynamic weather systems or rotating surface features, possibly akin to continents or liquid bodies. This level of complexity would be rare on a barren world and supports the notion of a planet with a potentially active biosphere. In addition, the atmospheric density of Proxima b was measured to be thicker than previously assumed, which enhances the likelihood of surface-level pressure conducive to sustaining life. A thin atmosphere, like that of Mars, fails to maintain surface heat or protect against radiation, but a dense one like Earth's not only allows water to remain liquid but also acts as a shield. JUST's data showed that Proxima b's atmosphere scatters incoming stellar radiation in patterns similar to Rayleigh scattering on Earth, the phenomenon that makes our sky appear blue. Though the star Proxima Centauri emits mostly in the red and infrared spectrum, the atmosphere appears to be efficiently diffusing this light, which could suggest complex molecules or even aerosols suspended in the air. The presence of what appears to be a magnetosphere was also inferred indirectly. 
Although JWST cannot detect magnetic fields outright, it can observe their effects. For example, radiation from Proxima Centauri flares, known to be intense and frequent, did not appear to strip away Proxima B's atmosphere as rapidly as models predicted. This discrepancy implies the presence of a magnetic field strong enough to deflect charged particles, similar to Earth's magnetosphere. Without such protection, life would have a difficult time surviving, as radiation would sterilize the surface. Researchers also noticed long-term atmospheric stability in the JWST's multi-epic data. The readings, taken over several months, showed that despite minor fluctuations, Proxima B's atmosphere remained relatively consistent in temperature and composition. This kind of stability is a strong indicator of a self-regulating climate, which on Earth is largely maintained by biological and geological feedback loops. In other words, the planet seems to have a form of planetary equilibrium, a balance that is difficult to sustain without internal or external regulating mechanisms. Even more astonishing were the thermal readings during what should have been the planet's coldest phase. Proxima B displayed a warmer than expected temperature on its night side. If this is not due to atmospheric circulation alone, it might imply geothermal activity beneath the surface, perhaps even plate tectonics or volcanic systems. On Earth, geothermal energy plays a key role in sustaining deep sea ecosystems that thrive without sunlight. If similar conditions exist on Proxima b, it expands the range of possible biospheres, not limited to surface environments. The James Webb Space Telescope's observations also support the idea that Proxima b is not an isolated case. Its discovery paves the way for re-examining other exoplanets orbiting M-type stars. Once thought too hostile, these stars are now proving to host planets with surprising resilience. Juiced spectroscopic sensitivity gives scientists the tools to distinguish between biosignatures, geological markers, and artificial elements. In the case of Proxima b, all three seem to be overlapping in a way that's difficult to ignore. While caution and skepticism remain essential, the discovery opens doors to further missions. The next steps involve triangulating the data with other observatories like the Extremely Large Telescope, ELT, in Chile and the upcoming Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope. These instruments could verify JWST's findings, offer higher resolution data, and potentially catch more transits of Proxima b, improving our atmospheric models. Furthermore, targeted radio observations from SETI arrays are already being directed toward Proxima Centauri to search for unusual electromagnetic signals that might accompany technological civilizations. The implications are staggering. If even a fraction of this data holds up under scrutiny, Proxima b could become the most important target in the search for extraterrestrial life. A world only a little more than four light years away may be home to biological or even technological activity. What JWST has given us is not just another data point. It's a window into a planet that might be alive. For decades, humanity has looked outward into the cosmos wondering if we are alone. Now, thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, we may be closer than ever to an answer. And it might just be orbiting the star next door. Here at Discovery at 2.0, we will continue to explore every new development from the JWST and beyond, because the search for life, for understanding, and for our place in the universe is far from over.